Now guys, before I start recording and set up the project, I thought that I will give you a quick demo of what we will be up to, what we will be building by the end of this lecture. Okay, so let's go over to the demonstration. So this is the preview email. Okay, and if I click on get content, you see everything is in the live preview. And um, if I now delete everything, um, no. let me save the content. Content saved, alert. And if I delete the content and then um, load the content, it will load it from the. It has already saved it by clicking the save content to the local storage and it is now loading it from the local storage. And now, um, okay, so adding on to this email draft, I shall come to your place now. Get content, it will update the content and now save the content. Okay, content saved. And then if I delete or whatever, edit it. But if I load the content, it will load from the local switch because it was saved there. Now let's do the project setup on Visual Studio. So, on to Visual Studio. Now I will create a new project and uh, Blazor Server app. So, click on Blazor Server app. And um, give it a name, suitable name is Blazor Email Live Server with Editor and a Preview. It's a bit biggish name, it doesn't matter. So I'll create it in the Blazor folder on the source repos and select folder and click on next and dot net seven standard thumb support. There is no dot net eight for this template server template and uh, click on create. I don't need enable container support. All right, it's created now. So done with project setup. Now next is add quill.js. Now quill is an open source a free um, editor, you know, rich text editor. How will we add quills is getting back onto this. Now quill is a popular free VCWIG editor. Perfect for our needs here. VCWIG may what you see is what you get. Okay, so let's go over to the host.cshtml file and add the cdn which i have copied content developer network which is an url for um, addressing for referencing the quill okay so what i will do is i will it's a link uh, so basically i can put it over here just below the last link all right so cdn.quillgs.com and finally quill.snow.cs and quill.min.js so css files and the javascript file i refer from the this cdn okay and the next step is i'll have to create a javascript interop creating the javascript interop so getting back to my blazor email server now under this www root js root folder, I don't have a js folder which I need to create. So add a new folder, call it js for short for JavaScript, and then I create, I add a new item. So this has to be a JavaScript file, JavaScript file, and then I will give it a name. Quill interrupt dot js dot js will be automatically taken care of because it's a JavaScript file that I am highlighting. Quill 
interop okay quill interop basically it's better to put i is capital and then click on add so quill it's an empty file at the moment now the, to this file i have added a few function we'll get onto these functions and this is console.log statement for um, debugging purpose if it is required but you can get rid of that and just comment it out because probably i will not require it let's see and if i require then i will uncomment it okay so console.log statement i am just commenting it out okay now the next step is to understand what are these functions and what are they up to so this initialize quill this initializes as you might be able to guess it initializes the quill editor on a specified html element so var quill equals new quill uh, this is the um, this is the hash this hash is actually the id in the for a css file whose name is the name the id is editor container and theme is snow and then window.quill is quill to, to the window you add quill with this variable and then get quill contain retrieves the html content from the quill editor so it returns return window.quill.root.innerhtml and update preview updates the live preview section with the contents from the editor content from the editor this is the content from the editor on the left hand on the right hand side and it assigns to this preview containers inner html and then save quill content saves the editors content to the browser's local storage so local storage dot set item and then we are setting the item with quill content set item storage dot setting key is string value is string this is the key and this is the value okay so local storage dot set item okay and then load quill content finally loads the content from the local storage back to the editor now we'll come to building the blazor component okay with our javascript interop in place now the next was to build the razor component so back to the visual studio so this is the pages folder has got all the components pre-built components like counter error fetch data index so i'll add a new component new razor component and call this email editor so sorry for my typo email editor okay so email editor is, um, is just a template code email editor h3 so we'll replace this email editor pre-built code with the code that i have got on my clipboard and then i will explain just please bear with me this saves a lot of run, run time and this at page is the page directive so it's localhost front slash email editor we'll get to this page for routing for navigation and the div with an id of editor container it has got a style built-in style so editor container is the id of the quill dot js will target to initialize the editor and there are three buttons get content save content and load content so it will is there to get the content if you click on the get content button it and if you change the content and save content it will save it to the local storage and it will load the content from the local storage okay um the div with the id preview container is used to display the live preview of the email content it has got a style of border of one pixel solid this color and padding of 10 pixel and the code in this code block we inject the ijs runtime service to enable javascript interop you can see ijs runtime emulator js runtime okay and on the after render 
async method to initialize the quill editor and load any previously saved content when the component renders for the first time. So if it is the first render, it will await on um, initializing the quill js runtime dot invoke void async asynchronous this is operation initialize quill so initialize quill as you have just seen it has come from here initialize quill method and then back to other methods load quill content so load quill content also we have seen from here so basically it is communicating this c sharp code or blazor is communicating now with the javascript interoperatively inter with the interop okay so now get content method retrieves the editor content and updates the live preview. Okay, so the content is filled with await js runtime dot invoke async in string get quill content. Okay, this is the complete code. So from uh, get quill content, it will fill the content and then await js runtime dot invoke invoke void async update preview and then pass this content. Okay. And then save content and load content. This save content actually it invokes asynchronously the save quill content. That's the JavaScript um, save quill content and load quill content and update preview. They're all JavaScript functions. Get quill content as well as initialize quill. So again, the load content, the C sharp code will use the javascript runtime and invoke asynchronously the load quill content okay so basically that's all and now we are ready to run the application now click on either this green button or this is light green button start without debugging or start with debugging i prefer this one now, since I have no navigation, so Blazor email live server editor loads uh, on the default home page with hello world and then I uh, front slash and uh, put the routing email editor and then click on OK. Now you can see everything is in front of you. You can always create a navigation link, which I can do very easily. You see normal, this is a rich text editor, quill editor. OK. Now, in the next step, so we have built the blazor component we have started running the application and then let's so let me temp, type a sample image excuse my typo hope you are well So this is the preview email, okay. And if I click on get content, you see everything is in the live preview. And um, if I now delete everything, um, no. let me save the content. Content saved, alert. And if I delete the content, and then um, load the content, it will load it from the, it has already saved it by clicking the save content to the local storage and it is now loading it from the local storage. And now, um, okay, so adding on to this email draft I shall come to your place now get content it will update the content and now save the content okay content saved and then if I delete or whatever edit it but if I load the content it will load from the local switch because it was saved there so that marks the end of this demonstration so it now I have been able to show you a fully functional email editor with live preview and local storage using Blazor. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, 
please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more blizzard tutorial thanks for watching and happy coding